Good morning, my friends. Today I'm going to talk about a very special do-it-yourself speakers now for sale. But um, before I start talking about that, I saw this at Realistic Match 2. These are not, um, I think they're, they're not very expensive speakers. They're no price. This guy have two sets, so four speakers together. These are rare speakers. Uh, the woofer is 38 centimeters or 15 inch, and so they are they are gigantic speakers. Not sure what is the size of the speakers, but they are big, my friends. They are big, and uh, this guy doesn't roll the price, but I think for a collector or somebody who like big woofer speakers, this is. Uh, well, this is an opportunity to buy them, and uh, because they are beautiful, they are just they are restored, fully restored, all four of them. And of course, I'm not sure why you would need four of them. Two is enough. But okay, I will place the link from this ad in the uh, in the subscription box. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about this. I saw this ad. Visiton Atlas MK2 gigantic speakers. I think they are 170 centimeters or 180 centimeters tall. And the thing is, uh, the seller Ferret Carlo he sells often audio stuff. On I'm not sure if it is a dealer or just a a hobby guy who is buying and testing out and selling reselling that stuff not sure what he exactly is but the thing is the thing is he is selling these speakers uh he's selling these speakers for 350 euro he is in belgium yeah not that far from my house and i think how can he sell these speakers for 350 euro because my friends I have here another ad, the same speakers, the Visitant Atlas MK2, and here they have a price from 2100 euro. Um, and I think 2100 euro, if you heard the sound of these speakers, I think it is normal, yeah? And uh, he wrote over here, completely completely original completely original and in a very neat condition they sound so blissful with the right amplifier which is an understatement for the favorite or followers the price is not going to change <laughs> so that 2100 euro is a firm price find or come up with a comparable set everything is original visiting i am also really aware of the possible competition. Everything that has passed so far is not comparable. Poor construction, finish or materials. What is listed here are really thick units. These are made of 19 mm MDF and are airtight. No imperfections except for the back. When it comes to imperfection, these have been deliberately left that way. You can see the mounting of the back plate possible maintenance if desired this can be made super tight by agreement so he has 2100 euro and uh, let me make the pictures a little bit bigger for you and he only have two pictures but they are looking brand brand new brand new 2100 euro and i can tell you that if you're gonna buy second hand brand speakers uh, for 2100 i think these speakers will blow away my Heiko the statements, without any doubt. But, okay, do you want speakers from 1 meter 70, 1 meter 80 in your house? Well, if you have the space, why not? Why not? I, I love big speakers. And, I mean, this is the guy who is selling the same speakers. I will give the link from these speakers or this ad in the subscription box. This guy is selling the same speakers, only the, the tweeters are, I don't think they are origin, original, or maybe they are different. He made a change 
afterwards but maybe these speakers are not that beautiful yeah because they have some imperfections over here but yeah 350 euro vs 2100 euro i mean uh, the choice is easy to make visitors largest project in the history of this renewed high-end brand this atlas mk3 oh this is an mk3 uh, no this is an mk2 an mk2 over here mk2 so he made a mistake with the mk2 a tree over here with among other things the impressive w40 16 inch woofers these are famous woofers my friends i heard them already not in these speakers but in other visiting speakers they already cost 800 euro themselves the total cost of the drivers was around 1500 euro because all top components cabinets made according to original plans by an experienced carpenter these only cost a fortune in wood and work at the time includes four-way filters what needs to be replaced is the damping material inside probably the damping material in time it yeah you know uh, not sure uh, cabinets also needs some freshening up but okay can be listening to in working condition impressive you can use this to provide a huge wall with sound asking price is less than the value of two mighty woofers alone so they won't go for less then i'll sell the components separately which will certainly bring me plus 200 euro on top and i believe that i believe this story fixed price for the two cabinets complete with all drivers is 350 euro without a discussion provide a large van that is almost two meters high so you need a big van big truck to transport these speakers because according to him they are 180 centimeters i'm not sure i think they are one, one, 170 centimeters you have to see uh, online if you go online google these speakers you will see what is the the exact size but I'm not sure you can also i think transport these speakers lying down so i'm not sure why you need a van with a height from two meters no i'm not sure about that not sure why you cannot transport these speakers lying down anyway um if you are in for i mean if you do not have so much money my friends if you like me if you are like in if you are in for second hand stuff because we all know second hand is the best option uh, for the best sound yeah i mean for the money what the money can pay um i think i think these speakers for 350 euro uh, i mean i'm not sure why the guy is telling here writing it they need some job because the outside looks perfect to me they look perfect to me of course they are not new but okay hey i mean for 200, 350 euro my friend 350 euro <laughs> I will place the link of this ad in the subscription box. They are still available today. Okay. And now, my friends, uh, why I make this video is about these speakers. Extreme C's do-it-yourself speakers made by a professional furniture maker. I translated this in English. It is, of course, written in Dutch on this site i will place the link of this ad uh, in also in the subscription box and then you here you have it um, for sale extreme do-it-yourself speakers two years old equipped with seize drivers and only high quality components used for the crossovers this seize cx871 kit was developed by peter norbeck united states the cabinets are 50 kilo each and i built them from birch plywood frames and i stretched them according to the gouder rip okay this is technical for me but 
okay google this and probably you will understand what he exactly did this is a this is carpenter language my friends <laughs> i do not have the knowledge about carpenter wood a uh, method by means of five treated ends okay this is also abacadabra for me i have put in more than 120 hours of work here which of course i will never get back but that's allowed with a hobby like this <laughs> about the sound the term blow away applies here extremely clear and they go down to 33 hertz so no need for a subwoofer this set easily outplays most brands from the higher segment including custom-made blue stone feet of six centimeters thick there are already 2850 euro in components and material costs in this project alone I'm ready for a new project, so they can go for the set price of 3,900 euros, so including the the stones, the the feet, yeah, the blue stone over here. He sells them for 3,900 euros the set. Are the looks too colorful for your taste? Then I can treat them with whitewash all or calmer look. Serious interest? Call me for a no obligation listening session with good coffee well i contact this guy because i mean <laughs> i'm going to show you the pictures i'm going to show you the pictures i mean this is how he made them if you go on google if you go on google you see you see this set and this is how most people would make these speakers here yeah? i mean with a uh, yeah as you can see over here they do not real most people who build these speakers use just mdf mdf and with a veneer outside yeah or veneer but this guy <laughs> This guy, I mean, this is the underside of the speaker. And this guy just, watch this, watch this. Unbelievable, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's just incredible, my friends. How this guy, and this is the filters, and they have some Mundorf caps inside these filters. These are extremely expensive filters, my friends very good filters and uh, i'm not sure what is this i think this is the inside yes this is the inside so this is how we build up <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable this is some work he put some extreme work in this thing unbelievable what's this beautiful beautiful what's the detail over here what he made over here this this stuff unbelievable like it would came from a factory only there's not one factory where you can find uh built with birch wood pliers like this unbelievable and the thing is uh this guy is a carpenter so if i would i would bought buy these speakers i will never buy them because they are too expensive they are out of my reach so uh, financially they are out of my reach 3900 but if you are in for new speakers and you 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 are willing to pay 4000 euro for speakers and if you go to the shop i can tell you you cannot find i can tell you now right now you cannot find for 4000 euro in the shop even not for 6,000 euro, you can find a sound equal to these speakers. Yeah? Okay. Now for the looks. If I would, th this is made finish. If I would buy these speakers from him, if I was serious and 
I think, okay, I have the 4,000, I'm go going to this guy. I would ask this guy, okay, can you make these speakers in a French Polish style? Because at the moment, uh, high gloss speakers, if they are from real wood, is in. It, it, it is fashion now. And French Polish, there's not one factory who is, or maybe in the 20, 30, 40,000 euro range, who is selling original French polish. Uh, what do I mean with French polish? So as you can see, this, these are my speakers, and this is what I mean with high polish. Yeah, shiny wood. In the past, when in 1992 I bought my Magnat 05, they did not sell the speakers, simply they do not have uh, a way to polish these speakers like this. Yes, French polish, uh, it was able, if you had real wood, to French polish speakers. But then you need speakers with real wood. And of course, all these speakers are made from MDF with a little layer of, let me give you a, uh, a better example better picture watch this what's how you see the nerve coming outside and it looks like it is french polished well french polishing is a very old method to let wood shine but here these speakers they look like it is french polished but it isn't french polished it is it is just veneered wood yeah with a i'm not sure if it is real veneer or plastic veneer but on top of that there is a layer paint what is shining shining and you can see through it so that's what they did over here not sure if it is real wood veneer probably not probably it's just plastic plastic veneer with a a layer of paint okay but what you could ask this guy if you like this style, this is made finished, if he can French polish it. Well, French polish, not sure if he can do it with a a, a machine. Well, well, I'm, well, I'm not sure if you can French polish this thing with a machine. Probably you can, because if you would do it by hand, it would take maybe 40, 50 hours for these two speakers only to French polish it in the old fashioned way. But nowadays you have machines and maybe if this guy, if he, if, if you, of course, he is a carpenter, he knows how to French polish it. That means it will become a little bit darker. Yeah, it will be darker if you French polish it, but it will be shiny. It will be shiny like I just show you that those Heiko, the statements. And for me, that would be the ultimate I think looks or some people like this this non-threatened or non it is threatened but it is made finished but if I would buy these speakers I would ask this carpenter to give it a French polish style and I would even pay extra for that French polish style because for me that's the ultimate uh, looks at the moment at the moment you know um, of course, some people don't like this style at all. They like, like my speakers are completely white lacquered or black lacquered finished. But I would not advise it. I would always advise if they use, like here, real wood. This is real wood. Most of these speakers are with MDF. But if the, if it is real wood like this, I this is just incredible, beautiful, my friends. So. Uh, and the thing is, my friends, I I wrote this guy, this guy, Yup, I wrote this guy a message. Um, I, he, he lives in my town, in my city, so I asked him, can I uh, film this set? Not only I am interested in the looks, but of course also the sound. I am so curious about this sound and this guy's story, why he... He is sticking 120 euro for uh, making speakers, and I calculated it. I he has 1,050 euro more, so I said, let's just say 1,000 euro more for his, his his work. That means for the 120 hours he 
he spent for this because he just calculated 80 euro 75 an hour <laughs> so 1000 euro for for the time you know 120 euro or one 120 hours eight is eight euro 75 i just calculated it and that is a steal because nowadays a carpenter price if he's going to make a job like this he would ask i think eight times this amount so about 60 70 euro the hour he, there's no carpenter in the world in, in in the western parts of the world of course yeah in in, in europe and america uh, you can find a carpenter who is going to work for eight euro an hour nobody no carpenter or i mean maybe a bad carpenter but this is a first class carpenter because watch this my friends beautiful beautiful this is just incredible beautiful 50 i'm not sure what this what the weight of these speakers are how big they are but they are i mean if you compare it with uh this uh this thing over here it is just this speaker is just mdf with not sure if it is a plastic veneer or real veneer but yeah you cannot compare this thing or this speaker with with this i mean this is a real beautiful but beautiful speaker not sure what what he did over here but i just like it i mean he made here an extra darker ring he made some he played with the wood like a real carpenter knows how to play with wood beautiful beautiful i would not have come up with this idea because i'm just i'm not a carpenter but this guy knew exactly how to build this stuff and he placed this beautiful darker rings around these speakers or drivers and this driver what you see over here is the mid is the mid driver and in the middle you have the uh, the tweeter so two drive two drivers in one it's a three-way system beautiful 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 okay my friends i'm going to end this video i hope this guy write me back with the good news that i can come to his house and film this set then we have part two of this video okay thanks for watching this video put a thumbs up if you like it and for now i say bye bye